one thing after another. Such wonderful, life-giving evening. So I woke up this morning in such a good mood. I was so excited. It's supposed to be like a 60 degree day. We're gonna go on a bike trail, hang out with my sister and sister-in-law and the kids could be together with the cousins and everything. But I woke up, it was cloudy and gloomy and I just wanna throw my phone in a lake sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm changing, changing out the bedding. So that's what's up with the bed here. But anyway, it's just one thing after another. First thing I wake up and there's like a copyright strike on my one video. It happened three times last week. It's faulty, it's not. Um, anything I did wrong because I pay for a subscription to Epidemic Sound. So that's not going to stand, but it's still a pain because I have to file a claim and like all this stuff. It's stressful kind of, but whatever. And then my one friend sends a video of her baby who has an ear infection and it looks like RSV too and I don't know. And then literally this is all happening like bam, bam, bam. I get a text from my sister-in-law who says that, okay, they're not going to go along on her walk now because she has to take her baby to the um, urgent care. And now I just got a text from my other friend. We were planning a birthday party this weekend, a 30th birthday party. It was gonna be an indoor picnic thing. And that was what this vlog was gonna be, me getting ready for that. I was helping to um, get it all together. Two of our friends just turned 30 and we wanted to celebrate them with like an indoor glamping style picnic. It was gonna be a really cute, not only a cute party, but I thought it'd be a cute video, but I don't think that's gonna happen now. <sighs> So it's just crazy how a day can turn around so quickly. I know I need to look for the good things. I feel like I kind of am easily one of those people that falls into the trap of as soon as a couple things go wrong, you start seeing more wrong things and your brain starts looking for the bad and I don't wanna be that way. You know, my children all seem healthy and well and we're gonna go on our walk today and it's gonna be a fun day with Ivani at home. She's not in kindergarten. I have a video going out this afternoon, so I'll get to chat with you all in the comments. I don't know, it's just, I have no idea what's gonna be in this vlog. I know that um, it is sponsored by my absolute favorite game, Skippo, so we'll talk about that later. I don't know, you guys are along for the ride. I hate, like, I like to have an agenda of what I'm gonna be filming. It's nice to know. So this might be a very raw, unedited, uncut vlog. I don't know, we'll see. I try to come on here and make this a really fun, positive space, but you know, sometimes that can feel fake if you're not feeling it. So maybe I'll be feeling it soon again, who knows. I just got up and combed my hair. I did not do my skincare or anything yet, so excuse the look. <laughs> but anyway, I think we'll get our day started and yeah, see what this weekend brings us. Having a snack. Okay, I managed to pull things together and still had a productive morning despite all of it. We're still going on our walk and to a coffee shop to sit on the porch and watch the cars go by. Um, but my little nephew wanted to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for all of us. So we're actually gonna do a little picnic, I think. So I one of you guys sent me a bunch of linens and stuff. Isn't this the prettiest picnic blanket ever? Um, yeah, I think it's thrifted. So I'm gonna take this along. I baked chocolate crinkles this morning, so I'm gonna take them along as well. The kids are snacking on apples at the moment. And then I also, yesterday, made ranch seasoned pretzels. I make these a lot. They're a crowd favorite, so I'm just gonna throw everything in my pretty bag and we're gonna run to Target. Because my baby is on his last diaper and they were gonna charge me $10 to deliver it. So yeah, we're just gonna head over there ourselves and there's a couple other things I need. Josh needs body wash and I wanna get a loaf of bread. Five hundred kids. Anybody remember? 
remember us doing this last fall. I don't know why it's so fun for me, but we don't have traffic where we live, so it's fun to watch the cars go by and just see who's out and about. That was my car. Yeah, they didn't have any fancy drinks today, just lemonades and sweet teas. So we got blackberry lemonade and blackberry sweet tea. Are you sharing with them? Good job. <laughs> you want some of Bonnie's? Mine is really cool. Okay, it is the next morning and I just got out of my workout class, hence why my face is the color of my shirt. But I wanted to say good news. Party is still on for Sunday, so I have to like do some recalibrating here. I'm gonna run to Walmart because there's a few things I need. I would have loved to bake bread, but I did not, mostly because I didn't know if it was gonna happen or not and I didn't feel like going through all the work <laughs> if it wasn't. Um, but don't sleep on Walmart's bakery. They have a lot of different options. Like even like, I mean, yes, it's not homemade or anything, but what I'm looking for is French bread, I think, or some kind of like chewy baguette type of sub roll. I'm making turkey bale teas for the party. I want to wrap them really cute in like wax paper with string. So I want like some hearty, I don't know. We'll see what they have, but Walmart has a lot of options. I do like Aldi too, but there's a few things I want to get and I just want to do one stop. That's kind of the agenda for today. I think we're hosting tonight. <sighs> I use hosting in a very loose term. My cousin's coming over. I think we're going to have wings and salad and I don't know, chat and play Skippo, make iced coffees with my espresso machine. We'll see. So yeah, I'm so glad the party's back on. I'm very excited for it. Yeah, I haven't come to this workout class in forever. So I'm so glad I actually made it happen this morning. The train just went by and the boys were just like in awe. So that was fun too. Definitely got that dopamine rush from working out. So I'm feeling on top of the world at the moment. Okay, here's the bulk of the grocery haul. I do have some frozen pizzas in the oven and everything, but these are the wings we're having tonight. They are from Costco, actually, but everything else I got at Walmart. I just love how it's a one-stop shop. I go probably once a month, but I got the Simply Lemonade because I'm gonna mix it with the Fresca here. They didn't have any other kind of grapefruit soda. And then we'll add strawberries and I'm gonna make a like fun mocktail thing for this evening. Guys, we had this flavor of ice cream in Florida and I wanna try and see if this is just as good. Talenti coffee chocolate chip. Oh, it sounds so good. Um, and then I picked up some cream cheese spreads for bagels this week for breakfast. And here's the ciabatta rolls. This is what I'm gonna use for the sandwiches. And then I got this compostable parchment paper specifically because it's brown because I think that'll add to the aesthetic with like the string and the brown paper wrapping up the sandwiches <laughs> and then tonight since we're having wings I'm gonna make like a very simple greens type of salad with some Parmesan cheese and then I'm gonna make my own dressing with like olive oil and different flavoring seasonings things like that and I got French bread for I'm gonna make real garlic bread tonight with real garlic have to mince that all up yet and everything. And I picked up another pack of Skippo cards. Um, we do have a pack, but it's starting to look pretty old. And I wanted to show you a new pack. I love playing Skippo and actually a game that you play with Skippo cards that's called golf. It's one of our favorites, but Skippo is super, like kind of relaxing, but it still takes some strategy. It's one of those games that we often pull out, me and my mom friends, when we're together for the evening and you know, there's always some kid who needs their mom for something or it's just, like, there's a lot more distractions. You know, it's one of those games that you can talk while you play and depending on the mood, you guys can sabotage each other or help each other out, kind of like coach each other on. I don't know, it's, it's really fun. And I don't know, it's just the game we kind of gravitate towards. The basic game of Skippo is you have like sequences where you try to lay down as many numbers in a row as possible to use up your deck. Yeah, it's really fun, especially when you get like a run of cards and you just keep going and going until your hand's almost gone. Okay, now. Where do I hit my skip? Right here. Yes, for your seven, now you can use your eight. Oh my goodness, that was the longest no, turn in the history of mankind. You're still not done, put your nine down. Now you make it a, let's see what you get here. I'm 10, put your 10 down, and then you're 11. You are too lucky. Body one. <laughs> High five. It's not like Rook where you have to have a specific amount of players. You can play from two to six players. And it's one of those games you can learn as you go. I've even played it with Ivani. You know, you might have to help her out here and there, but she kind of gets it. We play this, you know, at the cabin. That's like a big Mennonite thing <laughs> to go to the cabin or when we're camping, things like that. It's just like one of those go-to games that we go to so often. And 
I get to shout them out. Like how awesome is this? And if you'd like to have a mobile version of the game, there is an app that you guys can download that you don't have to wait when other people are ready to play. You can kind of just play when you're in the mood. The mobile game is super cute and colorful. It has calming music and you can download it down below. I will put a link for you. You don't need internet so you can play it anywhere. But yeah, we always have a deck of Skippo cards on hand. You can even get them in like a nice metal tin. My guess is you've seen Skippo around. It is made by the Uno brand Mattel. So yeah, it's been around for a long time. Like I said, Skippo, this traditional game is almost like a slower version of Dutch Blitz. If you ever played that, you like each take a turn back and forth. So if you need to get up and help with a child, it's not a big deal. So yeah, it's fun for all, okay, not maybe all ages, maybe not the baby, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, check it out. I'll put the link down below for the ver mobile version and the card game. And thank you, Skippo, for working with me. It's like the dream collab. nap time little chore party. I have the wings out here thawing out and I was working on the sink. I'm still not done. Garlic butter I'm working on and Fletcher was vacuuming. And I'm also trying to gather stuff for our indoor picnic. Um, we're all just bringing like pillows and kind of like a springy color scheme just to scatter around and to sit on or lounge on. I actually have two of my patio furniture chair, uh, cushions, the ones that were not stained at all. I'm gonna bring those along. And yeah, just some random pillows. I had, we're all bringing goblets. I only have three. Um, I had a lot more, but I have children and we I allow them to use the goblets. So, oh, what are you doing? Are you vacuuming? So you can imagine where, what happened to all those. And then I have candlesticks. We'll set up in the middle of the table and my friend's bringing like a live edge piece of wood. Also, here's that pretty tablecloth, but I need to send this to the WhatsApp group so we can kind of get our <laughs> stuff together. You're making a chain. You're making a train. What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's having so much fun. He got a he got a gimbal and now and he thinks can, he can take over my job. Yeah. You can hold this button and like put it in. I forget because now it's been a while since. I it looks it. like some kind of robotic arm. Yeah, but look, this is the coolest part. This is what I think you would. It, it, it propels and levitates. Yeah. It acts like a drone. No, but this is what I think you would use. See, watch. You can walk around and it just follows you. Oh, Hi, it like I thought you it, know. Hi. it picked you. It feels like one of those creepy robots. Of, Let the record state that on this day Eric Burkholder beat Megan on his first round of golf. Is it called a round of golf? You forgot the punchline. I don't know. Because you're a natural golfer. Because I'm a natural golfer. <laughs> Janet beating him blind. <laughs> so last night went very well. You can hardly go out hosting when you have family over. It's just like relaxing and casual and whatever. Um, but this morning, Ivani and I got up and went garage sailing. We didn't find a lot. Um, I did get her a princess costume. Um, probably didn't need it, but boy, the joy it's been bringing her. Hi, Miller. If you hear Miller, he's just like buzzing all around. 
the creativity of that kid is amazing. Anyway, I am making an aioli to go with our turkey BLTs that I'm bringing to the party tomorrow. I've done this before. I don't super measure. I can link down below the one I looked off of, and I'm just doubling it. I did find a recipe where you actually make it totally from scratch with an egg, but I didn't quite trust myself doing it for friends. Like, I want to try that out for my own self first before I try to intoxicate other people with a raw egg, you know? But it's so nice. I get eggs from my mom, and since I'm a daughter, she gives us a really good price on farm fresh eggs, so that's really, really nice. We use a lot of eggs around here. So this aioli is pretty much just like a mayo base with salt, pepper, lemon, and I did, I did do the garlic. I was debating if garlic goes well with like a turkey BLT, but it's not gonna be super strong, so I think it'll be good. Also, I'm hoping to be having wax wraps back in stock on my website, Shop Fox Sparrow. It's a much better solution to plastic wrap. Miller, oh my word. <laughs> you are silly. So I need a formal outfit for tomorrow for church and for the birthday party. We're all wearing like pastels or florals like for spring. And tonight I'm taking Josh out. I asked him out on a date tonight to celebrate something. Um, but anyway, so I wanna dress up nice for that tonight. And I recently got this skirt in. It is from Amazon and it's very nicely like built. I like the waistband and everything. I just don't know if it's too young for me. <laughs> I'm sure Ivani would think I should keep it, but I like the look of a blazer with like the frilly skirt. Just not sure if this is the combo or not. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure. Maybe he needs like a belt or something. Could wear my pretty watch. I don't know, I'm trying to decide if it's me and if I'd wear it enough, because I feel like if I'm gonna keep it, I should almost get one for Ivani too, so we can match. I don't know, it's very fun to twirl in. Here's my other options. I have this lavender dress that I designed last spring with Inherit Clothing Company. It's still one of my favorite dresses. Very floofy. Or you guys just saw me sew this dress. Um, I haven't worn it anywhere yet and I want to. So maybe I could wear that tonight on our date night. Um, or I could wear this one. This is also from Inherit. It has long sleeves, which is chillier tonight. So this might be the most practical option. I think this more would be for tomorrow for the birthday party though. Yeah, I love this dress too. I sometimes feel like I'm drowning in it and then I sometimes feel like it's just the most princessy beautiful dress I've ever had in my life. So <laughs> I don't know. I kind of fluctuate. Or I could just wear something a lot more easy like this one tomorrow that I could like you know, we're building a table pretty much like on the ground and like setting it. There's gonna be a lot of like moving parts. So this would be a very practical dress. It's more of a midi length, although I hope it doesn't read too fall. I don't know, I like it. Anyway, I have options. That's, <laughs> it's a nice problem to have. What's your favorite? Let me know. It's gonna be too late for me to take your advice, but it's always fun to talk clothes, right? Oh my goodness, Vani, that is quite the extra dress. I like it. Yeah, you, can you twirl with it though? You really nice. You have a princess dress somewhere. I know, do you like this one? I'm trying to decide if this is the one I want to wear. It's like a ballerina dress. I think you should wear it. You think I should? I don't know. Don't I look like a little girl? No. Should mommies wear this type of dress? Yeah, can I take a picture together? Um, you want to take a picture I, together? Oh my goodness. I, okay, sure. Cheese. Oh wait, we have to poof our dresses out. Butcher wants to take a picture too. lunch as you can probably tell by Miller's emphatic chewing but I just posted a image of my afternoon iced coffee I made for Josh and I and look at my mason jar it's a regular ball mason jar but look on the other side I don't know it must be like a special edition or something can you guys see that it's like a beautiful daisy maybe black-eyed Susan I don't know <laughs> it just made me happy like what are the chances and this spoon a friend gave me for my birthday so, pretty all around. Mm. And I used up the rest of my sugar cookie latte syrup that I made this winter. So, no more of that till next season. So, I'm getting ready for this evening. Um, doesn't take me long. Me and Ivani just went on a walk and I kind of fixed my hair a little bit. But, when I got back from our walk, I saw an Amazon package on the door. And this is something I ordered a little while ago. Um, when I was 16, I spent like a week out at a lake house with my cousins, Jaina, you guys know. Anyway, I burned my lips so bad they blistered and were white and like scabbed and came off. 
Anyway, ever since then, I've like been trying to take good care of my lips because I basically lost them at one point. So anyway, you guys know I'm like a ride or die on the um, Burt's Bees lip shimmer, the peony color. I wear it constantly. But lately I've been trying to get into more of like lip balms. What really got me on it was the Summer Fridays lip butter balm. Guys, but look at that. I love the packaging. Anyway, so we're about to see what the hype is about it. I just got the nude shade or like the clear I think it is. They call it vanilla. So let's see. I love the applicator. It's like, if you guys can see, it's like literally the shape of your lips. Hmm. I'm not a fan of that vanilla flavor. Like I don't need that. But it feels amazing. Like butter is definitely the word. Another couple things I've added to my, I guess we'll call it makeup bag lately is this lash and brow serum. I don't put it on my brows, but I put it on my eyelashes because I feel like they have never recuperated from, I don't know, having babies and whatever. And then another thing is I don't wear a lot of perfume. Um, I know it's not really good for you and I hate the smell of essential oils. So I just opt for nothing most of the time, but once in a while, like for special occasions, you gotta have something. And I found this perfume stick. This is the queen bee scent from good chemistry. And I love that I can just throw it in my bag and it's there and I don't spray it on my skin. I spray it on my clothes, but yeah, it's probably toxic. I don't know. That's why I rarely wear perfume. Anyway, those are just a few additions I added lately. I try not to like amp things up too much because like there's no stopping once you get started. So anyway, those are some things that I've been liking lately. got up and made the sandwiches um, and hopefully they're gonna be good they look delicious and it was kind of trial and error with trying to wrap them up in the parchment paper but um, I think they look cute it's like brown paper packages tied up with strings um, I think that'll look cute on the picnic table or the picnic setup that we're doing indoors yeah we're just headed to church and then we're gonna have to leave pretty directly after so I can get home and gather all my things together and it is about 40 minutes away so anyway oh my look at this <laughs> this is what we see every Sunday on the way to church. They imagine biking to church. Doesn't it seem fun? One, two, three, four. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it seems quaint in the summertime. I don't know about wintertime though. Anyway, I'll catch up with you after the party, I guess. Heroes in my worst it's 
grace that you extended that I did not deserve I am so amazed by Okay, great. No, here. Where should I go? Should I go in the middle? Or Ready, set, yeah. go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Cheers. Look at it. It's actually kind of pretty. <sighs> okay, I am back. I'm in the bedroom, like the one tidy area of my home at the moment. Josh was watching the kids and you know how it goes. They have everything in the house out. But, oh, I got my church shoes off. Here, why don't I tell you guys kind of how we've been doing for our 30th birthdays. It's just been super like fun. We have a fancy meal at one of our houses. And I like that actually over a restaurant in some ways because we can just hang out as long as we want and um, make the person feel special how we want to. And we always like to go around and like share things about the person that we appreciate, compliments, I guess you could say, and that can kind of get awkward at a restaurant or whatever. I don't know, I feel like we don't have to keep it down. We can like all yak away and whatever. So I just really love it. We're getting closer to the end of the list, sadly. I think there's like three girls who haven't turned 30 yet. So anyway, I just cherish those birthdays so much and we're like, what happens when we all turn 30? We gotta invent another reason to celebrate. So anyway, it was a great time. I think my favorite part was definitely the cutting of the cake where we all just stabbed it with our wine glasses. It was so fun. I'm definitely gonna be doing that some more. And yeah, it was just a pretty simple meal, but we made like the display of it all look really fun. Let me know if you have any ideas for what we could do for my friend whose birthday is in April. Like how could we make that a special feast? Yeah, I'm sure we'll come up with something good, but I hope you guys enjoyed this um, weekend vlog. It started out very down and look where we ended. It was such a wonderful, life-giving evening. And anyway, I thank you guys for being here and for coming along for the ride. Check out Skippo. It's a great game to play with your friends. Of course, they have the mobile app, which is super colorful and relaxing, and you can play it anytime. But I highly recommend the card game version of it. You can even play it with your kids. They can quick catch on pretty quickly. So thank you guys all for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Jaina has arrived. Hello. And once again, look at our color palette. We, we, like, we should be podcasting. Yeah. We need to do a photo shoot. We should. <laughs>